Well, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. All right, guys, I was able to recover my bag. If you watched the last video, actually, I, I had recorded another video after it uh, when I had crashed in the middle of the Horde Night. Actually, we were pretty close to the finish of Horde Night, uh, but my game crashed at the same time that I died. I mean, there was no recovery from that. There was no avoiding the death. Um, even with the crash, except that when I loaded the game up again, it, the last save point was before I had died, and then I ended up uh, promptly dying again. Uh, it didn't matter. So, um, and then that day I spent just recovering stuff. So I was able to find my lost level six turret. I've got that, and I uh, I looked around. I did some augering. I got some supply drops, and I found in this garage here. I'm living in a garage right now, guys. Uh, I found a working workbench. So I set up a campfire and a forge, and um, I do need a crucible. So I'll need a hundred forged iron for that, which means I need more stuff to make that. Um, and so today we're going to go around. I'll show you where I'm located. I haven't cleared this whole place, but um, it's got like okay see I can I need to gather pretty much everything I find um, like I said I just found this the working workbench in here and I thought okay that that's where we're gonna set up base um, I needed the workbench and then you know we'll worry about it the other thing I love about it is look I've got a little jacuzzi out here fresh water I've got water at my disposal and while I need to clear out the rest of this house um, it's a, a good location. It, we're just down the street from the Hagashi building, which is right over there. Well, not that building. Well, yeah, it is that building, isn't it? That Yeah, that's Hagashi right there. And we're across the street from Poopy Pants Daycare. I mean, who wouldn't want to live right across from some Poopy Pants? Well, I, I want to. That's that's me. And so I, I gathered up some things. In fact, I went back up into the Higashi building and I gathered up some of the supplies. I gra grabbed the stuff that I had put in the chest on the on the street. I grabbed uh, one crate. I didn't go way up there, but um, I did gather some of those those materials. Gave me what I needed to do to get the forge going and so forth. So I figured, you know, I'm going to clear that house. But uh, before we clear that house, let's come over here to the poopy pants and clear it out too. Yeah, I can hear zombies coming. There we go, and they're going to meet my turret. And that is man, these turrets—they're the best. They are the absolute best. So oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time, guys, wrenching cards. Did I get, is this one I could loot? No. Okay. I'm going to spend a lot of time. I'm going to pick up potted plants because that will save me some augering time. I'll just uh, scrap those for the soil that they contain. And that's going to help me out. Oh, also, I found a bunch of seeds. I'm thinking, man, this would be a, a good thing, uh, you know, like at this house to go ahead and get another garden growing i mean you know we are in the desert after all the plants that we want to survive off of aren't super prevalent um i would like to have a garden out here and fortunately i found a bunch of seeds some corn seeds and and um, other stuff so yeah i'm thinking about doing that um, but right now i just want to loot as much as i can get this place going um, see if i can find a beaker i need a beaker and a crucible so if I could find those, that would save me having to make, uh, well, I can't make a beaker. I don't, there's no recipe for the beaker that I'm aware of. But if I could find one, that would be fantastic. Um, I mean, uh, of course, that's the only way to get it, right, is to find it. Uh, but the crucible you can make, but it takes 100 forged iron. It would be great if I could find that. Oh, there's a motorcycle chassis schematic. I already know how to make that, so it doesn't matter, but whatever, you know. I'm just opening this this place up a little bit. Is there no more zombies in here? Oh, there is one right there. We'll just take him out real quick. And looks like, oh, there's a big fat guy up there. Oh, I left my turret. I can't leave my turret behind like that. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, I got to keep this guy with me. He's my salvation. All right, we're going to open this up. Ooh, what do we have in here? Toilet water. Yummy, yummy toilet water. And, ah, uh, shoot. Every time, okay, you, here, we'll just, we'll just kill him. Well, 
mostly, and then we'll stick this down and you finish it. Oh, nice shooting, turret. <laughs> Man, took his head right off. I love that. So here's another thing. I've picked up a bunch of office chairs uh, in the past, um, but if you harvest them like that, you get more stuff out of them. So that's a, a good way to do the, the office chairs. Okay. Another thing I want to do is go up. Oh, yeah. There was this backpack. So at least we can we can clear out this neighborhood a little bit, you know, at least across the street from my house. Make me feel a little safer. Ooh, five duct tape out of that. That's fantastic. All right, let's come up here and see what we got. I'm not going to rely on the turret in enclosed spaces like this. I could probably, oh, you know what? I can put it down right here, though. That's not a bad idea. I hear that zombie somewhere. Oh, the other thing I want to do is go ahead and utilize my um, shovel and get uh, things like cement and cobblestone. I'm going to want those. Uh, if I can select the right freaking button. There we go. It's floating boxes there. All right. Are you guys going to come out of there? I know you're in here somewhere. Or are they? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, there you are. Hello. Look, you can come over here. Oh, crap. They, I, I keep forgetting what a long reach these zombies have. They have their tremendously long arms, apparently. All right, let's scrap some stuff. Denim pants. Are these, do they have color on them? They don't. Um, I'm making paint, by the way. I'm going to be doing some painting at some point, guys, so... You can look forward to that. It's going to be fun. It actually is. It's, it's a really cool um, setup of how, how you can do the painting. All right. Uh, let's put that back on our hot bar. Get those nails. So, yeah. I mean, it's not as simple as just painting a color. You can paint patterns and all kinds of good stuff. Um, so, yeah. The painting is pretty interesting in this. I did a little bit um, in a, another playthrough, just kind of a test thing, and uh, I figured it out. It, it's a little bit weird, but um, that's why I, I have test playthroughs, because, yeah, okay, good job, turret. <laughs> I love that freaking turret. And here's the, the uh, cachet here that I was hoping for. All right, time to do more scrapping now I have a bunch of pots I might use some to make mines uh, but uh, you know I don't have any room right now um, for anything Ugh, crap and I can't scrap because I'm waiting on the brass it takes a long time so let's go ahead and okay that's untouched but not locked all right interesting interesting stuff I can't scrap anything right now um, okay I just grabbed the knife which I didn't really want to grab but whatever okay that's not the right tool for that Hit it with this and then ooh, steel tool parts we definitely want those and the iron shovel yeah we'll scrap that grab what we can out of here another silencer mod that's nice and yeah some more things that I'm actually gonna scrap if I can get some room in the inventory to do it for now I'm just gonna grab what I can grab that'll stack but now there's no room in my inventory. Shoot. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to drop this wrench for a moment. Let that go into my inventory. And then we can uh, do some scrappiness. What are we going to scrap here? I don't know. The nails, I guess. I can always make more nails. or you know, They do cost more than you'd expect. But um, it is what it is grab the wrench back and we'll scrap that in a moment I don't know why I dropped something that I was going to scrap when I needed to room, make room to scrap wow okay that <laughs> fortunately I don't break my legs very easily so I'm not too worried about ceilings uh, crashing beneath me all right and then we'll do these bullet casings but I'm gonna do the wrench first yeah we gotta wait for our cue to free up a little bit we'll scrap those bullet casings normally I wouldn't uh, it's just that I, I need the room. And I'm going to drink this miso soup. Because out here in the desert, uh, your water goes super fast. So I'm not, oh, you know, and I don't care about old sandwiches. 
All right, there we go. Now we can carry a little bit more. Let's go ahead and scrap up some of this. Oh, man, we got to hit a trade or two. I'm going to scrap these iron knuckles because I never use them. Uh, the steel spear is going to make spear parts, and so is the rifle. What else do we have in here? Oh, we'll get those, and then we're going to scrap this. And I'm going to drop the feathers. That should allow me to go ahead and grab most of this. We're going to scrap those leather gloves. And what else? This pump shotgun. I like it. I'll go ahead and scrap these two. All right. That gives us that stuff. Oh, and I don't have room for my turret now. All right. What else can I scrap? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and queue up this spear to scrap. That'll give me the room for the turret. We'll swap the turret around with this knife. And we're going to get the hell out of here. So, all right. I feel pretty good about... Go! Oh, crap. Yeah, we grabbed the most critical stuff. I mean, we found the, the, good, the good stuff up there. So, um, yeah, even if I missed a little bit in here, I don't care so much. And if I need... Uh, leather or whatever. I know the couches are there. So, all right, that's good. We're going to go ahead and drop some stuff off. There's a nurse over here. She needs to go away. You're a bad, bad nurse. And so I'll show you around the house a little bit. So, um, yeah, this is the back door out of the garage. I'm going to open that up and put a new door there. Uh, this window has got to be uh, taken out, and I'm going to replace everything with concrete. I'm going to put concrete all around, and I've actually got an, oh my goodness, we've we got a little party going over in the backyard here. Hello, guys. How you doing? Get some EXP back from that death. I really don't want to be using up all my ammo here, but it's okay. So, yeah, we I showed you the, the jacuzzi and stuff, and so I've got beds and things in here that need to be uh, taking up all oh, crap. I don't have room for anything. Why am I doing that? Uh, we need to go and drop the junk off over here in our garage. See, and look, I've got I got three turrets pointing out every which way uh, in this place. But yeah, this is that window I was talking about. We're going to replace the window and upgrade the walls and everything to concrete. And I'll probably do a um, a wedge thing where they can't uh damage the walls they can try and climb up them and then they they get stuck or whatever i don't know how to build it yet but i'm going to work it out i think though to make it properly i need a um what is that thing called the table saw i'm pretty sure i need a table saw oh we need to drop off stuff all right so we'll drop off most of this junk in here not not those this and yeah i, I don't know what i'm going to do with the stuff that i'm going to sell um, I'll store it here temporarily. I'm just going to run out of space in this tool. Uh, it, this is kind of my tool chest here. Uh, do, do, do. Put that in there and that. And, all right, and then I've got a weapons and armor chest here. And then here's my food, like food and water and medical supplies. Um, and I put seeds and stuff in there too. Put that in there and then stick that in there and I don't need all of these splints we'll just keep one with us just in case and you know frankly I don't need to carry all those medical supplies around either we'll do it like that just water and I find food um, and if need be you know I can I can do without the food for a little while but the water I, I want to keep hydrated so, all right, that should be better for, oh, you know what? I don't even have a shotgun with me. There's no point carrying those around. All right, and then over in here, see, I'm still cooking up stuff. So we're going to put these things in here, and then we have got in this workbench a cement mixer. So we're going to grab that real quick, and we're going to place that right. Oh, okay, if I can press the right button, I'm going to place it right. Oh, crap doesn't like that all right um, I think it's this door frame is the problem yeah there we go yeah and well I'll, I'll like I said I'll replace that door with one that I can actually open and close but I don't have the resource for it right now um, what do I have here I need to make I need to make forged steel at some point 
So let's see, how many can I craft? Oh, I can do 124 of those. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So that'll give us 154 of the forged iron. 100 of it will be utilized to make a crucible. Uh, I doubt I'm going to find one. They're super rare. So, all right. I think... I just wanted to check around the outside. This is locked, but mostly damaged. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what we can uh, loot in our home. Because I do want this place cleared out. And I have not yet cleared it. So, we'll just check the ground floor. Oh, got a recipe. You know, I think I'm going to save the kitchen. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Because I, I might find a beaker in a kitchen cabinet. No. I just didn't want to fill up on junk down here before I went to clear upstairs. But it's fine. We're, we're just going to go ahead and, and take all the stuff out of here. Yeah, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrench uh, pretty much anything I can to get uh, parts, you know. I might leave the furniture and stuff because it looks nice in here. But this fridge is only used to block off a broken wall. So I'll replace all of that at some point. Maybe. I don't know. Let's get rid of that picture and see if there's anything behind it, which there wasn't. What about up here? That's just damaged. Okay. So we've gone around and around. Let's go ahead and drop off some more junk just real quick to make some room in the inventory. And then we're going to go ahead and head upstairs and see... What kind of dangers await? And I've already got a grill and a cooking pot in my uh, campfire, so that's... I don't have to worry about that right now. I'm going to carry this and drink it in a moment. Put that wrench in there, and... I'm going to plant trees out here, too, but for now, I'm just going to keep storing the seeds in there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. Yeah, I want to go with you guys. Oh, it's Nicole. She wants us to go uh, get her treasure, and we like to get Nicole's treasure, so we're going to do that, uh, but probably not today. Well, not definitely not today. It's it's 15 o'clock. Okay, there's a bad guy, and there's another bad guy. All right, but now we don't have to worry too much about him. Oh, where's my... There we go. Let's keep that turret on us like so. Make sure it's nice and full and we need to open up this place and you know I, I like this little TV area here well minus the zombies it's, it kind of kills the decor a little bit doesn't it and this guy he's just he's got kind of a creepy look but I knew he was hiding something behind it, his smirk you know so we had I, I feel bad when I talk about those people because I'm a dork and you know uh, they're probably very smart people, whoever they are. Um, and, you know, I respect that. Brains is a very, very good thing. Uh-oh, I don't like this guy. I don't like him at all. And now he's dead, so we like him better that way. All right, let's see here. Ah, I knew they'd hide stuff back here. All right, good, good, good. Now, we're heading up, and this is going to be where all the best stuff is, right? It usually is. Okay, we're... Oh, God! Is he just coming at me like that? That's very wrong, lady. Just lay there. Be still. We're going to clear out this stuff, too. Oh, oh, I see something behind there. Ah, small ammo pile. Brilliant. We like that stuff. All right. Sledgehammer gets to be scrapped. This gets to be scrapped. And then off we go to find the other stuff. There's going to be other stuff. Okay, maybe not so much other stuff, but there is this right here. I know this house layout. I've been around houses like this before. And that's, that's where they put the stuff, in the rafters. But that is it for this house. So now we're cleared of zombies, which is good. And uh, I don't have to worry so much about that. Um, we found some flesh. This is gross. This tub. I wish I could scrub it out. Um, but we're not going to spend much time upstairs. Did I get this? It's Yeah, it's empty. Um, so, let's just open this room up and then we can head out and see what else we can find in other places. Because honestly, this house, the main thing about it is the workbench. Okay, 
Uh, this floor is going to collapse underneath my feet. Yep, there it is, right down into the garage. So, we needed that to happen, guys. We definitely needed that to happen so that I can replace that with wooden blocks. And um, so, since I'm really not going to spend much time upstairs, we're going to go ahead and get this bed out of the way. Uh, search this garbage. Um, I like that light there, though. We'll leave that. But this this chest, that can go away. Um, now, I've got... Uh, check this picture. Nothing behind it. Okay. Uh, we're going to just jump down. And over in this box over here, I've got a bunch of wood frames. That's why I didn't, you know, use those. Or, or make a bunch just now. Put this stuff in here like so. Uh, la, la, la. What else? This and this. Okay, and then we can put away this stuff. And... Yeah, I think that will do. We'll put the extra ammo in here. See how we're doing with this stuff. Alright, I guess we're going to go ahead with some lead. Get that going. Um, our clay is almost done. Let's go ahead and pull that out and put this in there. Because I got lots of wood, and I might as well have good stuff going here. So, the other thing is we need to get cement, concrete mix going. Which means I need cement, small stones, and crushed sand. Uh, crushed sand I can make with small stones. So, let's make like uh, 200, maybe? I don't know. But we're going to have to go around and um, auger. We're going to have to auger a bunch of stuff. Now, I've got the auger with me, and I've got a lot of gas with me. Uh, but first things first, I want to block that off so that I don't have anything falling on my head. Let's check what's in here. What's in here? Now, I think this is to outside, maybe? No, it's might as well be to outside because um, this wall is wide open to the outside. <laughs> All right, well, I need a door here. We need, you know, I should make, I should at least get this garage secure. Let's look at that. So for an iron door... What what would that require? Um, iron door. I need just ten forged iron. Fine, we've got it right here. Let me grab that and let's make an iron door. I'll need more than just the one, but for now, one's going to have to do. Let's just leave this in here like so. We're going to go upstairs and fix the floor. How do I get upstairs? Oh, it's over here. Let's clean up the trash a little bit, too. All right. Now. Good. That's better. And we'll I'll get my hammer and fix that up later. But uh, at least now, it's, it's not just a hole, you know. It's a hole with frames. So we're going to drop off. You know, I might as well keep some frames just in case we need them. But I don't need them on my hot bar. Put that like that. And uh, I don't care about that piece of paper. Let's just trash it. I, mean, I could have taken the extra half second to put it away. But I can't, I, I can't afford that extra half second. We've got to go. Right. So... I cleared poopy pants and we've cleared our house that we're staying in. Uh, now it's very hot out here. I should start looking at my clothing and seeing what I can do to fix heat problems out here in the desert. But I haven't paid that much attention to it because I haven't had like sweltering. Sweltering is when it gets super bad, but there's a bad lady over there. Let's kill her. And potted plant. Go for it, turret. Okay, oh, there's some garage mischief happening. What's over here? Well, I'm just going to run around a little bit, attract some zombies, maybe. Get a little bit of a view of what's going on. This is weird. Anybody in there? Don't see anybody. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Hello. I just love being able to set my turret down and I can just run around like an idiot 
just looking at stuff and the turret's going to take care of my problems for me. Oh, there's a, I can learn how to make pumpkin seeds. If I had any pumpkins, you know, that might come in handy, but I don't have anything here. So, here, this is a fortuitous uh, find. This black dye, watch. I'm going to scrap that, and it's going to turn into a can of blue paint. But it's not really blue paint. It's just paint. It's generic paint. And that generic paint can be utilized to make all kinds of uh, interesting designs and colors and, you know, mimic the look of... Pro oh, look. We've got this. A grandpa's elixir recipe. I don't know if I knew how to make that already. If I didn't, that's a great find because that stuff is really, really good for uh, getting a EXP boost. So uh, I'm seeing what else I've got here. Let's go ahead and eat this sham. Just to keep the inventory as clean as I can. All right. So what else do we have here? Anything? I think we've gotten the kitchen and did not find a uh well i didn't expect to find a crucible but a beaker would have been nice but none of that in there okay what did i find anything in here no apparently not okay is this just a single story house what's up here anything aha medical supplies brilliant get that okay and the garage does it <gasps> destroyed workbench okay we can get stuff out of that and look there's some mint right here so here's what we're gonna do Grab our thing. You know what? Let's do it like that. It's not much cement, but every little bit adds up. So we're going to get that. And I can make cement, but um, we're going to get the cobblestone. Yeah, I'm going to basically get everything I can get everywhere I go. Ooh, there's a basement. There is a basement. All right, so what's in the car? We will wrench this... A workbench. I don't want to spend the time doing it right now, but we can get good stuff by wrenching uh, destroyed workbenches. What's in it, though? Maybe a crucible? No. Oh, hello. What's your deal? Yeah, I don't like that so much. All right, let's go outside. Say hello to this zombie. Hello, zombie. Yeah, get down from there. She's lowering the property values. All right, let's check out the basement before it... Oh, God, it's almost... Ooh, ooh, oh, my goodness, this is... This is a wine cellar. Stay down. Good Lord, they just don't stay down. And we've got four skill points. We need to spend some skill points. I don't know yet what I want to focus on, but, um, yeah, wine cellar. Ooh, look. A destroyed chemistry station. Hmm, nothing great in it. That's too bad. But uh, we know we need to come back to this house and destroy the workbench and the chemistry station. What's over here? Nothing. It just leads up to a room. Uh, all right. Well, that's actually pretty interesting. You know, find all that stuff down there. Uh, clothes, clothes. Mostly clothes. I'm just going to scrap. Uh, but I'm going to check at some point. I'll, I'll get a little bit of a stock of clothing going here. Let's see about this. I don't think this door leads anywhere, but... Oh, ah. Okay, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and gather up a little bit more cobblestone from these blue uh, bag boxes. Let's see what else we got down here. cobblestone and uh, well I guess we're gonna go ahead and wrench this stuff right now because it is it is dark and spooky out and the zombies get all crazy runny and stuff and not like runny like your nose runs but uh, you know what I'm talking about um, they run so a sweatshirt here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna um, modify remove this we're gonna scrap that and then we'll scrap the sweatshirt also. Ooh. We can do that. There. Give us some room. Uh, it's nice to have a spare cooking pot. Oh, and a leather duster. Like, they've got great heat resist. And I don't know what I'm wearing right now. What the hell am I wearing? Am I wearing a duster? I am. Okay. I've got a duster on. 
All right, so does this compare? I'm a that's a 1421 versus my duster is a 1421. So all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to modify this. Take that die off of there. We'll scrap the die for paint. And then we'll go ahead and scrap this duster. Give us some leather. That didn't make any room in our inventory because it's just going to replace the duster with some leather, but that's fine. All right, back in here, we're going to go ahead and scrap this car out. And we get gas and an engine. Well, we got a battery out of it. Oh, and stuff went flying around mechanical parts. Um, all right, well, let's eat this can of tuna. And scrap this. And what do we drop? Polymers I don't care about, but the mechanical parts I do. Let's grab those and those. Okay, uh, that that satisfies me, I think. We'll get that workbench later, but for now, um, I think I want to go across the street to my other actual house. Um, and let's see, it can, I don't know what else I get, but beyond, yeah, you get metal mechanical parts and leather out of those chairs if you use a wrench on them. So that's a better way to go about it. Um, what about this? Is this a way out of this place? No, that's that. Yeah, okay, that's that door that we broke down. How did I get in here? I don't know. Through the back way? Well, this is the backyard. No dogs, please. All right, well, here we are. Out here. Uh, that's poopy pants. Okay. Did I drive over here? I thought I did. I started to drive, and then I stopped like, you know, half a block down. Do I hear a... I thought I heard a zombie chasing me, but no, it was just me. All right, so I think, guys, that is going to be it. We got a good start on the day. We just basically cleared out a few places. Um, nothing super spectacular happened, but this is my life right now. So I'm probably going to go around, do a little bit more of that. Uh, I may not record. I don't know. We're going to run in here. I definitely want to get as much uh, stuff as I can to make the concrete and I should have a door made right yeah let's grab this door um, but not right now because I've got too much junk in my inventory so yeah I'm gonna take care of some stuff around the house uh, place a bunch of things um, probably start some upgrading and things like that and uh, then we'll pick it up together next time for now thank you so much for joining I hope you guys enjoyed this one it wasn't it wasn't like a spooky, scary, you know, excitement-filled horde night, but it is a very, very important part of the game, and something I very much enjoy is just going around doing the looting, you know, some light zombie uh, slaughter, uh, but mostly just just gathering supplies, and then we're going to be doing some building. And so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do the, all the stuff, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon. Oh, and look, look, look. This place, one of the selling points, it's got a light. It's got a light, so even without my headlamp on, you can see my workbench area. Isn't that nice? I like it. Okay, bye, guys.